Do you have a dog with unsightly tear stains? Fear not, these new remedies may really help. And I really encourage you to stick around to see what remedy number three is. It's a brand new one, I've never discussed it. And I think it'd be really helpful for dogs like this. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Click there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign for notifications, and then you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. Pippi, as you guys can see here, she's got some serious eye tear staining. Hmm, you look all sad though, Pipster. You can see the stains in the corner of both her right and her left eyes. A gland called the nasolacrimal duct is actually supposed to drain the tears from her lower lid into her nose and it doesn't appear that that's working. And Pippi, she's got this excess tearing, as many dogs do, because there's pigment in the tears called porphyrins. Those are breakdown products from red blood cells. They're staining your fur that reddish orange color. And you can see it even more pronounced here in her right eye. Number one, it's not a cup of tea with a cloth in it, it's a hot compress. So we have a cloth here soaked in hot water. It's cool enough for you to touch your skin, but plenty hot enough to actually act as a compress. You're then just going to hold that into the bottom corner of your dog's eye. What I want you to do here is hold this for five minutes while the cloth cools down. Do that twice a day. And what we're hoping to do is actually open up that blocked tear duct. Number two, we're going to use green tea and apple cider vinegar as an antiseptic cleaning wipe. Many of these dogs that have this, this eye tear staining, one, it could just be directly from the pigment that's in the tears staining the fur. Secondarily, they may have a secondary bacterial infection. And that's why the antibiotic Tylosin, which is in some of the eye tear staining products, you know, such as Angel Eyes, that's why it may be helping. Third, they may also have a yeast infection. We've got one cup here of concentrated green tea. It's sat for about 15 to 20 minutes. It's a great natural antibacterial. To our green tea, we're gonna be adding this, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. It's a great natural antifungal medication. It can help treat the yeast. We're gonna dip that into our green tea apple cider vinegar mixture. Be careful not to get this in the eye. I'm just gonna wipe the lower part of the eye. Number three, a natural remedy to help dry out the tears and secondarily promote some whitening. The boric acid here, I picked it up at my compounding pharmacy, which many people use to naturally treat yeast infections. When the boric acid is exposed to oxygen, it can actually oxidize and actually create some whitening. I suggest a five to one dilution. So each capsule here, there are 600 milligrams. That's about a half a teaspoon. And we're gonna make that to about a 20% dilution, meaning I'm gonna combine that with one tablespoon of our cornstarch. Mix the cornstarch, the boric acid up well. I'm just gonna dip my fingers. So it's a teeny little bit here. And then what you're doing is just being careful to avoid getting this in the eye. So just keeping your finger below the eye and you're mixing that little bit of powder. I'll get a little bit more in your pipster. We're going to dab that on to the lower part of your eye. Okay. Already. Hmm. I don't know if I imagine it's whiter, but it already sure looks whiter. Pippi's tears already look a little bit better. Number four, Probiotics, the good bacteria. Many of the animals that have the excessive eye tear staining, they respond really well to probiotics. Number five, a couple of different natural anti-inflammatories. Number one, an essential fatty acid, i.e. krill oil, a great natural anti-inflammatory, you know, 500 milligrams for 50 pounds of body weight twice daily. That will be Pippi's dose. Number two, the 95% curcumin, another documented natural anti-inflammatory shown to be especially beneficial for eye health. We're looking at curcumin doses of 100 milligrams for 10 pounds of body weight twice daily. Thanks again, you guys, for watching this video. If you have a dog with an excessive eye tear staining, I encourage you to try some of those remedies, especially number three. And if you find it helpful, I'd love to hear your feedback. Thanks again for watching, it's Dr. Jones.